Hi, Alan Stratton from Eswood Turns. I've been doing these videos now for six years and it seems like it, I should know everything by now, but I find out regularly that it's still easy to make a very bad mistake. And it reminds me of some of the things that I've resolved to do uh, all along. So for example, this week's video was to be this green cherry with bowl with a natural edge. However, and it was looking mighty beautiful, but I wanted to do one more cut, this time a sheer scrape on the outside since it's actually hard to sand the wings of a natural edge bowl. So I wanted to do one more sheer scrape when I didn't focus enough on how my gouge was pointed and it broke off. Next thing I knew, fortunately, one thing I do harp on is the face shield. Face shield, big whack to the side of my face shield. So I reinforced my resolve to always wear a full face shield. I looked at the video, but I wanted, was going to show it, but it turns out that Green wood also sprays water, so my cameras got fouled with shavings and, and water. So I can't even show the accident. So instead, I got a chunk of spalted apple from a club meeting, and it's just been laying around here. So I decided to go ahead and turn this spalted uh, apple into a very pretty little bowl. But this one's whole. And yes, I did wear my full face shield. Let's turn this mold. Theoretically, I should mount this block of apple to a screw chuck, but why bother? I would use the tailstock anyway, so why not just jam it against the chuck jaws with the tailstock? As long as it does not spin, it is solid. This is beautiful wood. The spalting adds a unique appearance. The first task is to shape the exterior and cut a mounting tenon. I'm also cutting another lip above the tenon to help guide my eyes to see a curve that will continue across the bottom and not intersect with what it is sitting on. My large bowl gouge is a good choice for both cutting and shear scraping. I'll keep at it until I'm happy with the shape. The wood is dry but still cuts easily. I'm using a one half inch skew to clean up the tenon. Next, I'm flipping the wood around to mount it into the chuck. First, now, a bit of shear scraping to true up the exterior after the remount. It's always a little bit off. I'm still using my large bull gouge. The wood is coming out nicely. My target for the walls is just over one quarter inch. A little work with a large bull gouge cleans up the bottom, then sand up through the grits. Next, I'm applying shellac friction polish to the inside and outside of the bowl. For me, it is convenient to remove the bowl with the chuck to apply finish to the interior before mounting it back on the lathe for a rub down. Lastly, the foot. The bowl is small enough I can mount it on my large jaws. I've protected the bowl with masking tape and a strip of plastic cut from a milk carton. Easy does it. I'm now using a spindle gouge, then a skew to clean up the middle of the foot before sanding the foot area. Mm -hmm. 
I like to sign my pieces while they are still mounted in the chuck, if at all possible. Why? Well, because I like to sand the signature area just a little bit more with fine sandpaper to remove any sharp edges from the burning. And if I mess up, I can remount the work, tool off the mistake, and sign it again. My current signing process uses my do-it-yourself vaporizer power supply patterned after Graham Priddle, a do-it-yourself pyrography pen patterned after Molly Winton, a small ball tip, and a set of head-mounted magnifiers from Treeline. I have videos on the vaporizer and pen about a year ago. In the past, I've used a Dremel metal etcher or a Sharpie to sign with. I've even tried to fill the etch area with a gold shellac stick. I did not like the shellac stick as it would get into the grain. Since I have the pyrographic equipment, I now prefer to burn to sign. I'm surprised how pretty this bowl is in apple. The spalting adds a lot more character. It goes to show that club wood is a great source of turning wood. We'll see you again next week for another wood turning video. Please give this video a thumbs up, subscribe, and tell your friends. As shown in this video, always wear your full face shield. Goggles are not enough protection. Until next week, this is Alan Stratton from As Wood Turns. Let's keep on turning.